what's going on? My name is Julius King, and this is Well Connected AZ. I've been in the Valley pretty much my whole life, making music. I've been, you know, in and out. I was raised with all types of different music, and I was writing when I was a little kid, writing poems and shit. Just manifested into something, so last four years, I think it became more serious. I've just been performing and continuing to, to work. It's always been my main, like, consoler. Is consoler work? It is. <laughs> It's always been my main thing that consoles me, so I mean, it's always like, you know, if I'm having trouble with my day or anything like that, you know, I've always ran to music, and so I knew that, like, that was essentially what I was more passionate about. If that's my passion, I'm gonna chase it. My, uh, my favorite local artist would probably have to be, uh, Nutty Tut, Optimistical, uh, De La Prime, the whole True Game, really, Tommy Mumbles. Salty Brazi, Color 8, man, a bunch of them right there, those are just some off tops. I get inspiration pretty much from, from anything, living day to day. If I'm feeling a certain way, sometimes I feel a little upset, sad, frustrated. I can go from being really happy to really sad, and uh, I think that dynamic makes me just want to get ideas out all the time. Either that or it's just in my head and I just go crazy. Really just getting out ideas based off how I'm feeling at the moment. But when I first started, my first show was opening for Lil Durk. That was, that was a pretty cool experience. I actually met up with Justice from Respect the Underground there and he saw me perform and put me on. I went on to move uh, to perform at the Arizona Hip Hop Festival. Went on to do countless shows with Respect the Underground and all all over the local scene and I've had I've had some some good times you know uh, performing at some places it feels like sometimes I try to stay away from the like you know selling tickets all the time because that's how I just start I probably, you know when we first started doing this I was selling tickets to perform and stuff like that and now you know gain more notoriety so I've been uh, organically gaining a, a fan base and uh, that fan base has you know working with Seafoam Sound and We've been doing our own shows and stuff like that. And I kind of want to get away from the whole like trying to sell tickets and stuff like that. And really try to get fans to come and see my show. We're doing a lot of things promoting our local artists and promoting our local scene. So I think that's important in pushing that and it's gotten me out and noticed. Dang, man. What can we do better? So, loaded question. <laughs> it's like I feel like my mind went like in a million different directions. I don't even know where to begin. We need to do a lot better in supporting our each other, really. Um, do you do that? I show up to almost every type of local event that I could possibly think of. You know, I'm, I'm definitely in the scene. I try to do my part in showing up to the every show. I can't say that I, I get that same in return all the time. Um, you know, I go to multiple local shows and support because I value and see that there is talent in here. In, in Arizona that could be just like any other place. We could just be just like uh, Los Angeles. We have the same amount of talent. I don't think that we're any any less. It's just the people in, in Los Angeles get behind their artists. You know, it's more of a known thing. You got places like Austin where they have like unions for, for artists and stuff like that. And I think we need to start developing things like that in which we look out for our artists, we're pushing our artists. These are things that we don't really have to like, re we're, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. I mean, we are a big city and we have to start treating it ourselves like we are a big city. And we have big artists that can come out of here just like any other big city. We're like the fifth biggest city in, in the country and I mean, you barely hear about us in, in the hip hop scene. I mean, you hear about like what? Jordan Sparks is for me. You have those notable artists, but we can, I mean, I know countless local artists that can be a top artist and be known uh, just like, you know, the artists from Los Angeles, Atlanta, New York are. So we just gotta stand behind our artists. Uh, our venues need to start, you know, promoting our shows. We need to have like some centralized hub where we know what type of shows are going on. You know, somewhere where we can actually know what's going on in the community because these artists are out here. They are grinding and they are shining. We were just looking at, you know, all these countless different radio stations, and it was, it was, I, yo, no shade. <laughs> It was, it was literally 
no no locals on those YouTube channels, and it you know it's like it was all promoting bigger artists and bigger names, and I feel like we need to start getting to a point where we can incorporate these local artists. I mean, we're we're at that point. The artists in our own hometown are outgrowing you know this like old mentality where we're just like thinking of ourselves like we're not the big one of the biggest states there is like we are you know and it's unfortunate that like I even have to get to a point where I feel like I need to go to Los Angeles to to make it like I shouldn't have to think that in 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 the fifth biggest state you know like we're big so we need to continue to treat ourselves like that and treat the artists that are in our, in our own community like that really just go I mean go out to these shows support anytime you you actually listen to these artists and get to know who they are get to know their music and you'll see that they're just as good you know if not better than most you know mainstream artists and I think the best things come from artist perspective. I love when people reach out to me and tell me when you know that they like my music or you know when I get reposted by somebody I don't know or something like that. I, I love that stuff. I, I love when I'm getting support, you know, from not just my the four friends that I have. And once it starts breaking out of that community, it feels it feels good, you know, knowing that that you're gaining more fans. And I think if more and more artists, and not only artists, but people in our you know our own community, just fans that like hip hop or like you know music, start going to these shows and and start realizing, oh, these these people are actually good. Then it'll it'll motivate them to want to repost and re you know reblog and and share and actually you know start talking about what's going on here in Arizona. You know, I think that's something we could do right now, just start going to these shows. These shows are real fun. I try to go to every local show I can. I just released L's. L's up. <laughs> we, uh, we worked on that. Uh, now my producer produced the beat. Did it uh, completely from scratch. Um, we've been seeing a lot of success. I've been promoting that for uh, for a while now. We're dropping the video soon, so look forward for that. Uh, that should be coming out in July. We'll have a release show that's coming out uh, within the next few weeks. I'm everywhere, so I mean, you could go on Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music. Look me up, Julius King. Make sure you check out Edo's Just Drop. My name is Julius King. I appreciate Well Connected bringing me on the show. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Julius King. Check out my music, check out Else Just Dropped. I hope you enjoy that. Keep it local and stay indie.